Hey there, folks. Welcome to Eric's live stream. Hopefully, we're going to try to play Colossal Cave again. Hey, Power Gamer Boy. Just hoping for the best. Gamer's Grotto says, basically, F you. I'm not staying to watch this because I don't like your channel. I think you suck. That's okay, Gamer's Grotto. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. But, uh, you know, what can you do? But at least Power Gamer Boy is still going to be here. So, hopefully, other people will join as well. And uh, we'll have a really good time watching this thing crash. Okay, so I changed a bunch of settings on my computer and rebooted. And so far, it's been good. I even tried to test stream to see if it was like OBS causing the problem. I tried to test stream. It was private stream. <gasps> Excuse me, and it didn't crash. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, gamers. Ground. Yeah, I know. The bike's hot, right? I know. I don't know. It's thing changed again. Or I'll try to freaking take it out and reinsert it, like you said. Hold on. Testing one, two, three. Oh, that's better now, right? It got better. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one. Oh, it's it's better. What 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 the f actual f is wrong with this stupid thing? I don't know. Like, I need a new mic or something because like, thank you for telling me, man. Because I I it, it pisses me off when the audio is bad like this, and I don't know. Anyway, so that's probably gonna be the catalyst though, which is gonna cause the game to crash. <laughs> So it's probably the game can't can't be work and have a hot mic at this you know not a hot mic at the same time. Let's run this thing. Oh, I forgot to put my headphones in. Actually, I forgot my headphones. Where are my headphones? Hmm. I leave them like. I think I left them upstairs. Hang on a sec. Uh, like I'm looking around. I don't have other headphones around here. Come on. Sorry, guys. Hey, Lester. Oh, you didn't get a chance to watch your earlier video yet? So, I, I said a whole bunch of things in my earlier video before that ant ran to the crash, the crashing, that I'm not going to repeat in this one. I'll just use these cheapo headphones. I'm not going to repeat in this one because I don't want to like this video to be a copy of the other one. I was, I didn't, otherwise, I have to delete the other one. But I will go through and uh, talk about a lot of stuff. And, and the really important stuff I probably will say again. All right. Hopefully, this doesn't freaking crash. I'm skipping the intro because I want to get to as fast as possible to a non-crashing state, if if possible. Okay, no instructions. So, the most important thing which I said last time is that if you don't take instructions, you get a point bonus. You are standing at the end of the to hopefully not have a crash. Yeah, I made a whole bunch of changes. Around you is a forest. So, you can see on the top left, my score is already 32 points, and I have to do jack squat. That's the point bonus you get for not taking instructions. Hey there, Hero 3. I'm up to some uh, Colossal Cave shenanigans. So, I got a point bonus for not taking instructions, but the downside is it makes your lamp last a very, very reduced period of time. So, basically, this is like speedrun mode, almost. And I am going to actually speed in the beginning here, because I did this already last time. Going to that building. Taking the keys. Taking the lamp. You can't you can sell your stuff there to take, but I have an inventory limit. Running down here. Using the keys. You have unlocked the grid. Opening the grate. And this is where it crashed last time, so please let's not crash this time. Yay! Beneath a three you can actually see the inside of the freaking cave. A low crawl of a cobbles leads inwards to the west. Alright, now uh, I, I want to talk a little bit about 
about this game in the sense of like the original game is a little bit of a weird thing. And I mentioned before about how it was a <laughs> huge celebration. All right. Hey, here's to you guys. The original game has a weird um, thing. First of all, it was created by two people. What, you know, Will Crowther made the game and then Don Woods added to it. It has a weird vibe. Hey, oh, is asleep. It's some sort of cave. So if you look, and I, oops, I didn't mean to, how did I, oh, okay, I didn't mean to sidestep. All right. You see here, like, it looks like a modern cave. Like, it says, please keep area clean, and there's a trash can, and a ladder, and there's all sorts of, sh like, shit, basically, thrown all over this place in the first couple of screens. And, like, the original game also c calls this, like, here, if you look at the map... So, Upper Cave, this is this is Cobble Crawl, and the next room is called Debris Room. And then after it starts getting into actual, like, more interesting places that, that are they're not, you know, just based on a real cave. But there's a really weird vibe in terms of, like, where are you? Are you, like, in this cave, like, in the Middle Ages? Are you in this cave today? It looks like right now we're today, but there's going to be later on dwarves and magic and also other stuff. And then you'll see at the end of the game, if I get there, it's even more messed up. Now... Theoretically, if I was playing this game in the text version, I would leave the lamp off right now because this room is is like light enough theoretically that I don't need the lamp. But the reality is, it's pretty dark, and it gets darker as you progress into it, and it's it becomes hard to navigate as you can see here in many places without having the lamp. Um, and I'll probably miss stuff too. There's there's a cage I need to get in here, but this room is so freaking big that. Like, you know, I don't even know where the hell I am. It shows me the map, but it doesn't show you where you are in the room. So, um, the old thing is just like, you're into the thing. There's a cage here. Get cage. Take it. You're done. And this one, I have to search for the freaking cage, even though I know it's here. But they did try to help a little bit by adding a sparkle to any objects on the ground. But you see, I don't know where, I don't remember exactly where it was. I'm just getting turned around here. Like, I think it's this way, but maybe not. It's getting difficult to see in here. Yeah, no freaking does. It's getting difficult to see. Uh, so basically, I'm going to have to turn the lamp on and waste it, which I don't want to do because the lamp is extremely limited. But I, I'm not really, I don't really have a choice, so let me first of all save the game. That's not how you do it. Brass lantern. Yeah, brass lantern. Let me save the game. I'll just save over this thing here. And I'll turn the lamp on. Brass lantern. The lantern is now lit. So that's like way more light, and I actually can see. But you can see there's more garbage around here and stuff. But I couldn't. See. The, the nice thing is you don't use up lamp. The tire. You don't use up lamp unless you're actually moving from one room to the other. But and this is a problem, and I mentioned this last time. If I click on anything, like normally when I go into a room in, in Colossal Cave, I'm supposed to get a description of the room. But here you don't always get it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. If I click on something to look at it, let's say, that counts as a turn, and I lose one turn for my lamp, which really discourages you from actually, you know, looking at anything. So really, the way you have to play this game is, the first time you play, until you know it, like, with the back of your hand, you must take instructions so you have more lamp time. Pirate Game Boy says, she's like that Monkey Island remake. Yeah, I agree, but except, <laughs> I'm not sure that would work. The, the, the funny thing is, it really is the, the same text-based game behind the scenes. That's the weird thing about it. I think, oh shit, I think that goes into the new into the next room, and I'm not really ready to go there because I didn't get the cage. So I resume. So I, didn't, so I actually didn't trigger the next room yet because it didn't show up on the on the map. But I gotta get the freaking cage. This is the only part where you're searching like this, just because I guess it's poorly designed. I don't know why they had to make this room this weird shape. It might be that in real life. The cave is this weird shape, and that's why they decided to do it. But I don't know. It's not this way. Gravity of Spoons looks better in your street. I see other review videos. Oh, cool. Thank you. That's good to know. Um, unfortunately, I don't know where I'm going. Where is this stupid thing? Ooh, money! Is that money? No, it's a piece of paper. It needs retracing. <laughs> Yeah, everybody's a critic. That's the problem. I don't know why I mean people expect 
Such amazing freaking graphics here. Ah, uh, there it is. Okay. Stupid thing. Right, so I need this cage. I'm not going to look at it because that wastes a turn. But it's a cage. So I got the cage. Now I can go back this way. And find the entrance to the next room. Which should be somewhere here. One of these two passages. I think this one. Yep, so now I'm in the next room. Now, I believe. I might, I might not even be in the next room yet. I think I have to go around here first. Ugh, it's not even here. Damn it. This way? I, I'm going, I need to go west. I should, be, I should be using the compass more than I am. I know it's definitely west of here. Let me through here. All right, here we are finally. For eventual products with pretty graphics, the way Dear Deer Scout, no fussy about spoilers. Okay, so first of all, over here, there's this rod as an object that you need. You see, they made it sparkle a little bit so you can distinguish it from the other garbage in the room. But it's still, obviously it's easier than text adventure when it's just like, you see a rod here and it doesn't mention, you see a can, you see a bottle, you see a used condom, you see like five other things. It just shows you that that's that. Here you can actually find the damn thing. But I'm not taking it because one of the things it says in the instructions is the rod scares the bird. Uh, everybody complained about this in the reviews. Like, I, how was I supposed to know the rod scares the bird? Well... It's in the freaking instructions, so if you read the instructions, you would know. That's the answer to that. Now, the, the other thing is, if you look here, there's this thing carved in the rock that says... Here, I won't look at it, because I have to. It says Zizzy. They pronounce it Zizzy. So I got points for that. Now, what happened here is... Um, let me just save again. I'm just going to spam the saving, probably. If I look at my inventory, now I have a word Zizzy. And that's a magic word, and what that does is you it, it teleports you from this spot back to the building. Good to know. Now, the, the problem is a little bit, you, and you'll see this later why it's more, more of a problem. In the original game, you don't have to learn the word before you use it. If you're in the building in the first turn and you type Zizzy, you'll go directly here and you can skip a couple of turns with the lab potentially. That shortcut doesn't exist here. That's okay, that's not a big deal, but you'll see later on it's a, it's a much bigger deal when it comes to other magic Zizzy. words that you find. So, I'm going to go this way. I think this is very cool, actually. You know, I was in the actual Colossal Cave, and there are these, like, formations where there's these crystals and water dripping and stuff like that, and this looks really good to me honestly like i know you guys are all spoiled and whatnot from better games i guess but or more better looking games but to me this is really cool it's dripping the water's dripping off the off the stalactites um in fact let's i'm gonna i'm gonna kill myself on purpose just so you can see that too oh, that was a mighty fool <laughs> so when you kill yourself oh dear you seem to have been ousted from your adventure. I might be able to help, but I've never really done this before. Do you want me to try and resurrect you? So if he resurrects you, you lose points, but not only that, you also lose stuff you're carrying. So it, may, it, it makes the game almost impossible to beat because you have to go find stuff. I'll do. It, I'll say All yes right. anyway. But don't blame me if something goes wrong. I'm going to reload the save game right after this. Every time it loads, it shows that picture of the lamp. I'm scared it's going to crash, by the way. All right, so here's the bird. Now, if you have the rod, the bird will just fly away, and it won't let you uh, take it. But if you have the rod, no problem. If you don't have the rod, rather... And again, I have inventory limits here, so you got to be careful okay. what you carry. You have captured the bird. 
So now I have the bird. I'm going to keep going. At your feet is a small pit breathing traces of mist. A white mist, usually water, seen from time to time in caverns. It can be found anywhere, but is frequently a sign of a deep pit leading down to water. So I, the pro I hope I'm actually able to do this properly, because I don't necessarily remember all the different things you're supposed to do to get a perfect score. I'm probably going to do it wrong, but uh, I will at least make an attempt here. I have here the keys, the lamp, and the bird cage. So here's a dwarf. This part is not in the original game. They don't have this dwarf here in this whole cutscene. So, this is a treasure. Now, as this liar, you won't get it up the steps. It says that in the original game, too. Um, what that means is if you try to go back the way you came, up those those steps I came down, it'll basically say you can't. Um, so I can't go back that way when I'm carrying this thing. Now, the dwarves is an, is an annoying thing. You'll see a little. You'll see this, how this works. In the original game, at any random time, a dwarf can appear and throw an axe at you. The first dwarf that throws an axe at you always misses, and then you have to get the axe and take it with you. In this game, they made it so that this happens always right here. That part is not random anymore. But after that, dwarves will show up at random and throw axes at you, and it's completely on a random number generator. Sometimes they'll miss, most of the time they'll miss, and sometimes they'll hit you. If they hit you, you die. So... You could, you could be playing this game and very far along and all of a sudden you'll just be killed randomly by a dwarf, which sucks, which is one reason why you have to save, but that was the original game. Now, after you if they miss, after they miss, you get a chance to throw the axe at them and kill them. If you don't do that and then you let the dwarf go, the next time that the dwarf shows up, there'll be two of them and then three of them, or, and, you know, and, and I think there's nine altogether. Or, no, seven, I think, because Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. So then, like, you'll have seven dwarves throwing axes at you at the same time, and chances are one of them will get you, at least. So you got to, like, at least try to take out the dwarves when you can. So right over here, the first guy, the first one will show up. A little dwarf. Watch out. This one always misses. And he, and he just disappears right away. But i got to take this axe. So I got it. Um, and I guess I'll go this way now. I can run, but I'm not running. You're in the hole of the Mountain King, with passages off in five directions. So some of the major rooms will give you descriptions, most of them it won't. So here is another, like, sort of puzzle. A huge green fierce snake bars the way. Now, I don't think the snake can kill you. Like, if you walk right up to it, like, I don't think he does anything to you. I'll, I, but, like, you can't get past is the bottom line. Well, you lose points for quitting, too, I think. Holy snake. Yeah, so, like, I can't do anything with him. But this is the puzzle, and, like... Little bird in a cage. People complain about this, too, that it's not unintuitive, whatever. I don't know about that. Like, this is the, one of the oldest adventure game puzzles there is. Little bird attacks the green snake, and in an astounding flurry, drives the snake away. I, mean, I don't know why it disappears in a puff of smoke like that, but that's what they did here. And then I get these coins, and there's some other. Tra it dropped the the cage for me automatically, which is nice. There's some other treasures around here somewhere. Take it here. One nice, th one thing I like, by the way, is you can see into the room. I didn't go into this room yet, but I can see into it. 
That, that doesn't work, obviously, in all cases. Sometimes it's dark, and sometimes it's a twisty passage, and sometimes it's not in the same, like, load, because you see when it loads a new area, so you can't see through there, but at least here I can see into the room, which is which is helpful. Now you could to the original Colossal Cave. So here's some jewelry. And then... In here... There is some silver. So now my inventory is full. Precious jewelry. <clears throat> this next room is called the Y2 room, and it's named after a real room in, 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 in Mammoth Cave. Now, when you enter this room, there is a certain chance that you'll hear a hollow voice that says Plug, which is another magic word. So let's see if it happens this time when I go in. It did not. So, again, this is another area where this game is a little bit cheap, the remake, because in the original version, you don't have to hear it to know that there's a magic word. If you played the game before, then you know the magic word is there. Um, in this one, it's a random chance, and, and I'm on a very tight limit with my lamps. I'm wasting time right now, basically. I actually did complain about this, and they apparently they increased the, ch the chance that it'll happen from like 1 in 5 to 1 in 3 or something like that. But it still, um, you know, didn't happen this time, obviously. Let me... Uh, it'll give me a chance to go in here, though, and then I'll come back. And I'll waste two, I'm wasting two turns, basically. This is an interesting room. I'm looking through a window, and there's like... I see a guy looking back at me, and he's like waving and stuff. Um... And there's actually an achievement. If you get to the other side of the area, there's an achievement you can get. But I'm not going to do that because it'll be, take me too far out of the way. Let's see what happens this time. See, I didn't get it. And this time I'm going to load the save game because I don't, I don't, I can't waste that many turns. I don't know why I had to do please wait to, to be in the same spot. Oh, whoops. I got it that time. Plu. Just from just from loading the game, I got it. That was actually pretty good. All right, so now I have Plu in my inventory here. Precious so, jewelry. Let me save it again. So I turn off the lamp. What so what Plu does is it also takes you back to the building from this and, and back and forth to Y two. So I turn off my lamp Brass to conserve lantern. it. You have turned off the lantern. And let me say Plu. Plu. It is now pitch dark. You feel a strange pulling sensation. That, I think, is an allusion to King's Quest VI. You feel a strange pulling sensation. I, I would assume so. You're back in the well house. Alright, so now that I'm here, I can Large drop off nothing. treasures. Bars of silver. And I'm getting points for this. Precious jewelry. Rare coins. All right, now I'm going to take the food which I didn't take last time, and the bottle of water. Okay, and I'm going to go back to where I was. Clue. Clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. It's dark here. Where are you? I sort of like that. He goes, "It's dark here. Where are you?" Now, if you try to, if you try to walk around in this game without the lamp on in a dark area, you will die. Even if there's no pit anywhere near there, the, the game will invent a pit and kill you, which is sort of bullshit. But that's how it was in the original game, also. Brass lantern. The lantern is now lit. So I'm going to go this way. A lot of the challenge here is figuring out the best way to get around the cave. And go down this. You need to be a little closer to climb that. You need to be a little closer to climb I hope that's that. not wasting my turns, but it just needs to be a little closer. Okay. And like, 
if I go the wrong way, then like I, you know, that I, I'm messing myself up, obviously. So I want to try not to do that, also. But I probably will a couple times until I figure this out. Let me just save actually too. Is this the right way? I don't think I think I went the wrong way. I did go the wrong way. Where is this going to? Oh, this is this dead end here. Oh, shoot. Alright, we load the game. Sorry. I was get confused with the direction. So where was I? I came down that ladder. I thought it was the other way, but I guess it's this way. Another ladder here. You guys can, can, can still talk, by the way. You don't have to be quiet. <laughs> Everybody stop talking. Alright. That's that way. You're in bed quilt. A long east-west passage with holes everywhere. Hey, Park, your boy. <laughs> This is the Swiss, the Swiss cheese room, I think it's called. Because all these holes in the wall. And this is coming up, it's called the two pit room. Because there's two pits. There's one pit. You're at the east end of a two pit room. The floor here is littered with thin rock slabs, which make it easy to descend the pits. There is a path bypassing the pits to connect passages from the east and the west. There are holes all over, but there is a big one on the yeah. wall directly over the west pit, too high to reach. I think so too. Alright, so here there's a plant. That talks. It didn't talk yet. Water! Or a bottle of water. Nothing happens. I gotta, I gotta get to the right spot. I'm trying not to actually go into the pit to see if I can save a move, but I probably am not doing a good job. Plant spurts into furious growth for a few seconds. Water. Water. Now he's demanding water. I don't have any more water. So I gotta go this way. <laughs> yeah, basically. I'm just saving because I forget the right way to go and I don't want to blow this game. Alright, so here, you pass through this passage down here. Hey, be ready. I played this back in the 70s as well. Um, this is the, 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 the room I was in before and I saw the person waving to me from over here, but actually there's a mirror suspended a two-sided mirror. That's what you're really seeing yourself. Yeah, a couple of people already said they should make a Zork version. I, I mean, I agree, except the problem is, like, you know, a lot of people are complaining about this game, saying it's whatever, blah, 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 too unforgiving. The original King's Quest was not, like, a masterpiece, really, either. I mean, it was it, it was a pioneering game, but, like, the game design, the puzzle design wasn't so amazing, either. Zork was probably better, but even Zork 1 was not like the most exciting game. Infocom made a you know, whole ton of better games after Zork 1, in my opinion. Even Zork 2 was like 10 times better than Zork 1 for me. So that's the problem. Like if people are, if, if They're not going to make any more games unless people buy this one. I'm sure if this one's successful, then they'll make a ton more. So here's some... I don't know where this lake goes. You can't actually sail yeah, out there. You don't want to fall in here. Yeah, I don't want to fall out. Empty bottle. I want to fill my, my bottle. Your bottle is now full. Good. And you gotta keep saving because like I said, those those like dwarves can show up and just end you randomly. 
I could be King's Quest 1990 version. Yeah, that, that actually the OG version is actually a little bit easier because they changed. Well, except the Rumpel Stiltskin puzzle, but they changed a bunch of stuff to make some of the puzzle solutions not not possible anymore in the 1990 version. I can look around while this is going on, but to a limited extent. Hey, pal, puck. Hitchhikers, there was a graphical version that the BBC made, but only like in terms of text adventure with graphics. It wasn't like this. So I'm back in here. Water. Bottle of water. The plant grows explosively. Almost filling the bottom of the pit. Okay, now I want to go here. The other pit has oil in the bottom of the pit. Empty bottle. So I want to put oil in the bottle. Your bottle is now full of oil. And there's also another couple of other random elements that happen. So I want to make sure I don't trigger them accidentally. That is useless right now. It's hard to know sometimes exactly where you gotta stand. So I'm climbing the beanstalk. Which takes me to here. And that takes me to like the land of the giant, you know, from the Jack and the Beanstalk. I like those Scott Adams, Atari 100 games, man, the guy dumping stuff. I like those, too. We still got a few more of those we got to play. It's funny, yesterday when, I, when this was crashing all the time, there was like 10 people here. And now that it's like actually working, like <laughs> much less people are here. It's funny. All right, so this is like the, the giant land. You're in the giant room. The ceiling is too high to see with your lamp. Cavernous passages lead east, north, and south. So here's the golden eggs. Noises from the dung is behind you. I don't know what that means. I've heard that before. I have no idea what it means. Faint rustling noises. A lot of times I get accosted by a pirate over here, but it looks like it didn't happen this time. Alright, so this door is rusted shut, so you need to use the oil. The oil has freed up the hinges so that the door will now open. The way north leads through a massive iron door. This is a pretty cool room. Another one of these, you know, water water rooms, like a waterfall here. And there's a trident here that you wouldn't know was here unless you sort of knew it. That's the problem, because you got to go down here to get it. But you see, you got to explore. There's a, if you go into this water, you die instantly. No, it's just like it just assumes that you went to the into the whirlpool or something. I love this room. I love these walls. This this reminds me of the real cave. This the, the way that the these these formations in some areas of the cave and, and this wall back here. I think this is this is super cool to me. And you know when you move like it looks like it's like shining off of it. Okay, I gotta slide down here. Let me just save again. It's like a one-way passage that you can't get back up. You see a steep slope. It looks like you can slide down it. I sometimes forget which way to go from here. I think it's this way, though.
Yep, okay. You're on one side of a large, deep chasm. A white mist rises up from below to obscure much of the far side. A southwest path leads away from the chasm into a winding corridor. Oops, there we go. All right, which way am I going here? Uh, no, not that way. Exit this this way. Uh, some of these rooms they made much more complicated than they need to be. The troll steps out from beneath the bridge and. No one treads on my bridge without payment. Okay, that's pretty good voice acting too, by the way. Um, so you can't kill this guy if you, if I if I try to use the axe on him, then he just you, th you throw it at him. He just catches it and says, "This is pretty nice workmanship, but not expensive enough to use to be a treasure." So you have to give him a treasure to pass by. I'm going to give him the, the golden eggs. And there's a reason why I give the golden eggs. But you'll see. Don't look down. So this game is probably cool in VR. They have salmonella? <laughs> no, they don't have salmonella. They're golden eggs. Alright, so I have to go this way. There's like a lava area here. In this room, there's a treasure. It's some rare spices. Now I'm gonna save the game to show you the next room because I don't I don't I don't want to waste time by going there, but I will show you guys what it looks like. Cause it's cool. I'm standing basically like on the edge of a cliff right before, right next to an active volcano. So if I try to move forward here, I'll die, but it's not worth it. But, you, but I think it's a cool, you know, it's, again, it's not the best graphics ever made, but you want to be there? <laughs> but if you're watching this stream after the fact, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, I'm back here. Let me get out of here. This way. All right, so now I'm going to go back this way. And now we're going to encounter one of my favorite characters in this game. This way here. So this room in the original game is called the Baron Room. The Baron, like there's nothing there. Here there's actually a sign that says, Warning, Bear in Room. That's not in the actual thing. I think it's supposed to be a pun. Because I think this is bear food, but it's empty. So this is bear that's chained up, and he's hungry. He doesn't kill you though. He, he's trying to scare you, but as far as I know, he doesn't kill you. Hey Jim, Jim says, "Right, I made a game in 25 years. His shoestring budget was no stand. We did a great job. I think they did too. There's only a couple of nitpicks that I have. All right, let's give him the food. Tasty food. But not eat." The bear eagerly wolfs down your food, after which he seems to calm down considerably. Hey, hey boo boo! He becomes rather friendly. <laughs> Alright, so now I, I, I have the keys, the keys of two uses, of which is sort of, you know, you may think you don't need them anymore, but you do. Now I can take the chain, which is a treasure. And look, I like the detail of this bear, by the way. Hey there, buddy. Good bear. You a good bear? Yeah, you're a good bear. We like you. You're being followed by a very large, tame bear. Hey there, buddy. I like the bear. In real life, don't don't try making friends with bears because it it always ends up in a bad ending. All 
Hey, Lutfi, this is too rare to be fighting the bear, yeah. This bear is my friend. Hey there, Matt. So it's like Oblivion. <laughs> it was supposed to be like old Sierra the troll games. steps out from beneath the bridge and blocks your way. Hey, troll, how's it going, man? You want another treasure? I got a treasure for you. Want to see? Alright, so the beer takes care of the troll for you. Better video gamers want to see. I've, I've never played Wirehead. I think I have it, though. Now, you have to send the bear away now, because if the bear tries to go with you on this bridge, the bridge collapses. So, unfortunately, you gotta... The bear is mildly hurt by your rejection. He wanders away dejectedly. Sorry, bear. I wish I could take you with me. I really do, but I can't. Yeah, it's really, I agree. Poor bear. See, like, there's a trash can here. Again, like, why would there be a trash can, like, in this area with the bear? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'll just take all this booty and hide it away with my chest deep in the maze. So that's a random event. So basically all my treasure's gone now. He took. What did I have? I had the sp the spices, and I had the chain. And I think that was it. Or oh, the trident. So he, I had three treasure. He took the wall, spices, the chain, the trident. How is this anything like old school Sierra games? It's very similar to the original King's Quest, in my opinion. <laughs> ghost pirate. Yeah, he's the ghost pirate LeChuck. Uh, he is a bastard, but it has to happen. Actually, you need that guy to steal your treasures at least once, or you can't beat the game. <laughs> So let me keep on going. So it's okay that it happened now. It's probably actually it's probably the perfect time, actually. I just have to remember where to go from here. Okay. There's a bunch of these pat. Losing treasure can be a good thing. Oh, yeah, only only for the short term. Some of these passages are like dead ends, and it's hard to remember which ones are which sometimes. Um, so I'm gonna. That's why I'm saving a couple times here. All right. So this is actually. This is the Orient Room. Ancient Asian cave drawings cover the walls. A gently sloping passage leads upwards to the north, another passage leads southeast, and a hands and knees crawl leads west. Yeah. So. Give me save. What is the status of Sierra Online slow by Activision? Yes, I believe so. Alright, so I just came from this way. Right? I think I gotta go out this way. I could take that vase. This vase is like a trick, a tricky treasure because you have to. If you try to place it to drop it after you pick it up and you don't have a rug to put it on, then it breaks, which is not good, obviously. So, do I want to take it now? I think I don't. All right, I'm back in this room. Yeah, I want to go this way. Back up the beanstalk. There's no use for that here. Come on.
hope I'm doing this right. Alright, I didn't look at this last time. It says fee fi fo fu. Fi fi fo fu. Fi fi fo fu. The nest is full of golden eggs. So the, uh, I just want to get the treasure back that I gave to the troll. That's why you're supposed to give him that one. Hope the beast has a stop for the weight. Yeah, good point. Hopefully the stupid pirate isn't coming in. Is this the best way to do it? I think so. This entrance up there. Here. All right, this time I'm going to take the vase. I believe I can drop the freaking bottle. I don't. And the keys. Set of don't, keys. Don't ever need these ever again. Empty bottle. Dwarf's axe. There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. It missed. Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. That just wasted my time, but I have to do it. He's pretty rude. Here's the bat, the rug, whatever it's called. Get back to where I was. Not, yeah, I think it's up here. I hope it works. I can't go that way. Wait a second. I can't go that way. All right, so I'm, in, I'm back in bed quilt, as they call it. Go to this sandy area. Shit! 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 God damn it! I forgot that you need the trident to open that clam. Damn. So I have to go back actually because I, I forgot you the trident for this. Ah, now I'm pissed off at myself. I forgot that. When that happened right before I went. Okay. You know, I try a video card. Oh, this, was this the last save game I had? I think it was, maybe. Let me see. 
Yeah, he stole it right after. He right, the, the guy came and showed up right with that before that happened. All right, I gotta go back to that one. It, it's all right. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, not this one. This is not something you haven't seen yet. No, load game. Ah! <laughs> I blew it, yeah. But at least I didn't save games, so I didn't completely blow it. I just gotta do the bear again, unfortunately. Where was I? Now I have it, right? Yeah. Jeweled Trident. I'll run this time. Ju Tasty food. The bear eagerly wolfs down your food, after which he seems to calm down considerably and even becomes rather friendly. Ju set of keys. You're being followed by a very large. He's running bear. to this place. Do, do, do. Really, the pirate that blew it, but whatever. The troll steps out from beneath the bridge and blocks your way. Hey. Well, you definitely can't fall off the bridge if you if you try to do that. Let me save it again now because I want to make sure this guy's not going to come again. I guess I need that trident. I'm not sure if it's a video card or the gum, but I need it. Alright, I'm very drunk, very drunk here. That is useless right Come now. On, dude. It says fee fi fo fu. Fee fi fo fu. Fee fi fo fu. The nest is full of golden eggs. All right. If we drop the rare gold brass light set of keys. keys. Jeweled trident. Rare spices. The bottle. Empty bottle. Did I miss something up here? There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. It missed. Dwarf's axe. You have attacked a little dwarf, but he is dodged out of the way. That's okay. Um... I don't think I can get that. Golden eggs. Did I go the right way? Uh, 
Which way is right save game? This one, I guess. Can I go back down this way? I don't remember. I don't think I have... I can get the... I don't think I can get the... Yeah, I should have gotten the... Yeah, that's probably what I should have done. God, I probably should get the... I probably should get the stupid thing and then come back for the, for the rest of the stuff. That's what I think I should do. Because this way I have to go back like that way another time again. Build them eggs. I think. I can only get one more thing at this point, I believe. You can only carry seven things. The map counts as a thing, I guess. Is that right? Let's just see. Sorry. Yeah. You need to drop something before you can carry anything. So I need to... I, I, I can get the, the... I can't get the rug and the thing of this pass. So... I definitely need to get the, the other one. So I'll, I'm gonna. I'm gonna reload and not come this way first. Golden eggs. Sorry to people that are that are bored by this. Hopefully that's nobody, but who knows? Oh no! Wait a second. So I'm just gonna go west out of here. No, east, not west, east. Northeast. Okay, now I have the trident. Jeweled trident. The jeweled trident magically opens the clam. A glistening pearl falls out and rolls away. Goodness, this is really an oyster. But whatever it is, it is now snapped shut. All right, I don't need this. Jeweled empty bottle. Why did I do that? That doesn't matter. I, can... I guess I need to drop something. The glistening pearl. I don't think I can get anything else. I'm gonna go back. I don't think I can carry anything else. Here's the Y2 room. I feel like I forgot something important. I think I did forget something important. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not going to beat this game tonight. <laughs> I should, it's, I, it's my fault of trying to play without a walkthrough. 
but at least uh, at least at least we can make a decent showing here. Lamp off. You have turned off the lantern, Clue. It is now pitch dark. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the well house. Golden chain. Rare spices. Jeweled trident. Jeweled trident. Brad dwarfs. Set of keys. All right. I'm very tired, is why I'm not tired much. Sorry, man. Alright. So let's go back there. Plu. Plu. You feel a strange pulling sensation. It's dark here. Where are you? Hey, Obiera, how's it going? The lantern is now lit. See, I still play this game, but I still want to play it. That's a good attitude. Now I'm going to go do that again, the thing I did try to do five times. Just go back to the giant room and get the eggs. And then get the vase and the, uh, and the, and the pillow. You're going to stand like, is sure the exact right place? I don't know where the right place is. There we go. It says fee fi fo foo. Fee fi fo fee fi fo fee fi fo foo. The nest is full of golden eggs. No. If I get robbed now, I don't care. In fact, that's a good thing. You see a steep slope. It looks like you can slide down it. There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. It missed. Dwarf's axe. You have vanquished a little dwarf. If you don't get that axe, you're really in trouble. <laughs> Take 
the vase. I wish it wasn't so much loading. That's one minor complaint they have. But I'm not sure that they, they, they could do could have done about it. Just think the area is just too big to not have any loading at all. There is a threatening dwarf. <laughs> a sharp knife is thrown. It missed. These are just wasting my Dwarf's turns axe. here. But you have vanquished a little dwarf. Probably better to have to get rid of kill them, leave them lying around. Abduction is no in game loading. Interesting. Why don't you marry abduction then? It's so freaking good. Sorry, I'm just kidding. Oh, really? That's how it works? That's very cool. back in here. This time I'm going to go through the other side. There's an achievement you get if you explore every inch of the cave, which I haven't done. There's a bunch of dead ends. And <laughs> I'll just take all this booty and hide it away with my chest deep in the maze. You know, I didn't. I that's fine now. So that's I. I, I think that's okay. See, I I never expected that, that that pirate to be like he appears in a puff of smoke. I feel like he comes out of like a like a corner or something. But I guess that was the easiest way for them to implement it. Excuse me. So now I'm gonna go this way, which I didn't do last time. I think this is really cool. A huge green fierce dragon bars the way. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. All right, so this is this is a famous puzzle. The way it works in the original game is you type "kill dragon" and then it says, "What with your bare hands?" And then you type "yes," and then it's like, "Okay, you kill with your bare hands." <laughs> so this one is similar. Attack a dragon with your bare hands. <sighs> to try that. And you have to do it again. Vanquished a dragon with your bare hands. Unbelievable, isn't it? Well, the dragon looked pretty good, so. Like a Persian rug or something. Pretty cool looking dragon. Where am I now? Let me save the game. Uh, I guess this one. I don't think it was supposed to fall off here. Oh, there's a bridge there. I'm a little bit confused. I 
All right, so this is back in the room with the cage. Now, I feel like I forgot where something is. You were in gloves, <laughs> yeah, apparently. I don't, I don't, I'm going to look at my phone quickly at the map. I just want to make sure I, I had to get to a certain place. I seem to have forgotten. Mark W. from Mark W. and Rob Bob present is just messaging me. He says, uh, is this the game you told me about, which is a Bobo's Big Adventure? And I was like, yes. That's an awesome game, by the way. I don't know if you guys have played that or not, but definitely recommend a Bobo's Big Adventure. Uh, colossal Cave Map. Okay, where is the... Oh, shit, that's where it is? Fuck. <laughs> Alright, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta redo something, because I made a mistake. I forgot where that, where that is. Not too much, though. It's a very, a very small amount of, 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 of work that needs to be undone. Uh, Swiss cheese. Let's go. Let's go back to here. It's actually before this. to do that. That might be where I have to go back to, unfortunately, because I don't know that if I, if I saved it. And if, it's only five minute difference between the two saves, but if I can do it again really fast, but uh, sorry, sorry for making a mistake. you go back this way? I don't think you can. Let's see. Oh, you can. All right. It's only wasted one turn. Hopefully that won't be too bad. All right, so I think I got to go in here. We just save it again. No, that's the wrong way. Not in there, in here. I'll just take all this booty and hide it away with my chest deep in the maze. I think that's okay. Alright, so this way. Yes, this is the way. Alright, there's a there's a room here where there's a little crack here that you can't squeeze through carrying like almost anything. So I have to drop the lamp and I have to drop the axe in order to get through. Let me save it first. So I have to drop the lamp. And you can't turn it off first before you drop it, which is annoying. Because then you can't see well enough to get through this this crack. I don't think. Let me just let me, let me try for the heck of it. You have turned off the lantern. Brass lantern. You will, I think I think you will be able to find it afterwards to pick it up. It is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will. See, it looked like there was a green glow, but apparently it's it's not. 
which is stupid. All right, so drop the lamp. Brass lantern. Drop the axe. Wolf's axe. And you gotta use the hand to push through here. Now this room is lit. This is another one of these pro these problem rooms where um, it's a co very complicated like puzzle here. It's called the plover room. So here there's a there's an egg the size of a plover, a plover's sorry a, a jewel the size of a plover's egg, and in there is a dark room. Now. It's, it's, I'll have to explain this as we go along because it's a, it's, a, it's a sort of an interesting puzzle. Let me just resume. First, I'll take the jewel. Now, every time you're in this room, you have a small chance to hear another magic word. The word is plover. But you may not hear it. Like, I didn't hear it when I walked in, unfortunately, which sucks. I, so, I, again, it's one of these random things. So, I'm going to save the game, go here. And go to this dark room. It is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most likely fall into a pit. But I can just turn around and walk back out. But I, I didn't get the plover, so I I basically that was a, that was a bad a bad luck. So I'm gonna try it again. I don't want to keep walking back and forth and wasting time. I got the jewel, right? Yeah. You can get through the, the that passage with the jewel. It is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most likely fall into a pit. There we go. You hear the call of a plover. So that's that gives me a magic word because I heard the call of a plover. Um, now, the plover, what that does is that magic word, it teleports you from here to the Y2 room, but you can't do it while you're carrying, carrying the jewel, so if you try to do that now, first of all, it'll be pitch dark and I'll die out of the lamp, but I think you can't get, you can't get out of here with the jewel, let's just see. You hear the call of a plover. See the jewel. The jewel dropped out of my inventory. So that that this 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 um spell does not take the jewel with it. So it's not useful from that perspective. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna reload the save game, but it's useful for something else. So now that I have the plover and the jewel. I'm going to go back out through this passage. Take my stuff. We'll save again. <laughs> I'll just take all Don't. this. Bastard. Away with me chest deep in the maze. All right, I don't really care. He can take whatever, he can take the. I don't need that right now, so he can let him take it for all I care. As long as I take my lamp, because that'd be totally screwed. So you don't need that plover thing for any for. You don't need it except as a treasure. But I need to, I need to get the word that was more important actually. Ooh, what was that? It's like a rat. But it disappeared. Wait a second. I just realized, now that I have the... Uh, <laughs> since he took the plover egg anyway, I could probably save a whole bunch of time by just... Uh, ah, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters anyway. There are faint rustling noises from the darkness behind you. Is that the rats? Alright, 
right now I'm gonna get the, uh, the, the, the the pillow which I didn't get in this in this playthrough get reloading the save game okay now I'm going to go back and get to the dragon Vanquish the dragon. There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. It missed. Dwarf's axe. You have attacked a little dwarf, but he is dodged out of the way. How much further do I think I'll go? Um, I'm pretty close to the end. I think. I have 175 points. Doesn't seem like a lot, but there are faint rustling noises from the darkness behind. I think I'm pretty close to the end. Dragon. A huge green fierce dragon bars the way. Attack a dragon with your bare hands. When <sighs> reckless would try that. It's like a little Mac and punch us. Just vanquished a dragon with your bare hands. Unbelievable, isn't it? Oh shit. This guy is like really freaking I'll just take all this booty and hide it away with my chest deep in the maze. Dumb asshole. Excuse me. <laughs> well it doesn't really matter again. I'll just take your booty and hide it away with me chest of playboys deep in the maze. You both stay till the job is done. <laughs> That's your motto, isn't it? There is a threatening dwarf. A sharp knife is thrown. There's so many freaking dwarves. It missed. Okay, bad dwarves luck with the dwarves, axe. with the random numbers in general. You've attacked a little dwarf, but he is dodged out of the way. Alright, back in Y2. I got, hey, I thought the velvet pillow. I guess the pillow is not a treasure. There's like almost no point in me even doing that. All right. Um, so now I'm going to say Plu with the lamp. Plu. Sorry, not Plu. Plover. You hear the call of a plover. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're in the plover room. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna reload that just to, just to save one shot of the lamp, two turns of the lamp because I'm greedy with the lamp. Pill looks like a lightsaber, a lifesaver, a little bit. Brass lantern, you have turned off the lantern. It is now pick. You hear the call of a plover. You feel a strange pulling sensation. So now I'm in the, the plover room, with, and it's lit up again like it was. And now I can go to the dark room, and I have my lamp. That's why I need that that thing. It is now pitch dark. Brass lantern. The lantern is now lit. 
And there's a sign here. Congratulations on bringing light into the dark room. Because it's definitely not trivial. And around over here, there is a platinum pyramid. If I can get to it. Where do you get over there? There we go. Brass Lantern. You have turned off the lantern. It is now pitch dark. If you proceed, you will most likely fall into a pit. Uh, let me go this way. There we go. You hear the call of a plover. You hear the call of a plover. You feel a strange pulling sensation. It's dark here. Where are you? Clue. Clue. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the well house. Unfortunately, I don't have too much treasures because the pirate freaking stole them all, but that's a big problem because I'm not, I'm not able to carry them all out of there. Velvet pillow. It might be a big problem, we'll see. Platinum Pyramid. Alright. Zizzy. Zizzy, you feel a strange it's a hemorrhoid pillow. <laughs> it is now pitch dark. If brass lantern, the lantern is now lit. All right, now I'm going to take the rod I didn't take before. Threatening dwarves. Shit. Here. Knives are thrown. None of them hit you. Thank God. Dwarf's axe. You have attacked a little dwarf, but he is dodged out of the way. So we gave bad luck with the dwarves. There are faint rustling noises from the darkness behind you. So here's like a, a cliff. Now use the the rod. A rod. A crystal bridge spans the fissure. That's what the rod is for. The puzzle like that at Zork too. Zork also rather. Here's there's diamonds. Alright, now this is the this is the part that's a problem. Because I don't remember which way to go. There's a this, this is where the maze is. Um where's my, I'll look on the map again on my phone. Uh, I think I got all the treasure except for the one uh Except for that one, the stuff that the pirate stole. Hope so. Come on. Uh, 
Where is that? North side there. Okay. I think this is the way. I'm not sure about that, actually. Maybe this way. Oh, I'm an idiot. I went the wrong way. That's why I saved it. Sorry, guys. It's hard sometimes also to reconcile the directions of the game with the direct, like the the text adventure. You know, looks a little bit different than this thing does. Unfortunately, I thought this was the way to go. This is the way, that was a dead end, right? Or did I go, I think I went in here last time, and this was, this was, that was a dead end. One of these goes to the maze, and one of these goes, like, the other maze, which I don't want to go to either. I think this is the right way, but I'm not certain. This map is not clear enough. Hold on. South, or east, south, 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 north, east, I think. So this is like the edge of a cliff here. I think you have to go this way now. Let me just double check. Yeah, north and then east and northwest. There are threatening dwarves Shit. here. Knives are thrown. None of them hit you. I freaking like kill one of these guys. Dwarf's axe. You have attacked a little dwarf, but he is dodged out of the way. These drawers really want me dead. Alright, here's the pirate's lair. Along with every freaking thing he stole from me. The vase. The plover gem. The eggs. The rug. Sorry. Oh shit, I knew it. Black rug. I don't need this anymore. I also need to get his chest. That's why I'm here, basically. So, in the interest of, like, not wasting time, I'm going to do something really dumb and throw away the axe. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't do that. It's a bad idea. But it's basically the only way that I can not... Dwarf's you have to re 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 do it through here again. So I'm going to take a chance. Dropping things you're carrying requires a nice... Go. Dwarf's axe. 
So hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt me, but it probably will. And yeah, let's go north from here. This takes me to the edge of the pit again. And then you can scramble down here. It's a one-way passage. You find yourself in the debris room. Which is a good place to be. Tre tre treasure chest. Actually, let's not do that yet. Where is the... This is the, the room with the bird. Okay, so i got to go this way. Get out of here. Now I am back in the room with the Zizzy. So I'm going to turn off the Persian lamp. Rug. Persian brass lantern. You have turned off the lantern. And say Zizzy. Zizzy. It is now pitch dark. You feel a strange pulling sensation. You're back in the well house. Ming Vase. Egg-sized emerald. Golden eggs. Persian rug. Treasure chest. Treasure chest. Several diamonds. I think that's it. I think that's all the treasures. I believe that is everything. So, I was looking at the maze to double check that I didn't forget something. I mean, not the maze, the map. I don't think I did. I think I got everything. Uh, I'm just double checking here. I think that is everything. All right, so now let's use Plug. Plu. Plu. You feel a strange pulling sensation. It's dark here. Where are you? I'm right over here. Brass lantern. The lantern is now lit. Now, if I rotate dwarves, or, they may kill me. I wonder if, like, the algorithm kills you automatically if you don't have the axe. It might be. Hope not. I just want to see something. Make sure I don't go the wrong way. Down, yeah, down here. I'm gonna go east from here, which up the this way never went this way before. Closing soon. All adventurers exit immediately through main office. All right, so that means I got all the treasures. The fact that it made that announcement. There's like a sleeping dwarf.
So I have 300 points now. Now, you got to get this magazine. You don't have to do this, but this gives you one point. If you pick up this magazine, and then you go in here. To this room. Oh, my. What was that? And, Spil and drop Spilunker the magazine. Today. I get one point for that. One, that's that's the la one last lousy point. So now I have 301. Now, this is a maze, and it's basically impossible to get out. Even if you if I go back the way I came, like, you don't ever seem to ever get out of here. You crawled around in some little holes and found your way blocked by a recent cave. Which is why you don't go here till the end. The main You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You managed to escape wit's end. Wow, I never did that before. Because <laughs> I guess it is possible to get out. I'm going to save that just for the hell, just for posterity. But it doesn't matter. I might as well go back in. So it's called wit's end, like you're at your wit's end. It really, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to go back in. It's, it's like just luck of the draw if you actually can... You're at wit's end. If you can get out. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Come on, dude, let's go. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Uh... You've crawled around in some little holes and found your way blocked by a recent cave-in. You're now back in the. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main pass. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Dude, let's go. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. You've crawled around in some little holes and wound up back in the main passage. Why can't you just keep looking? You're, 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 you're. The cave is now closed. There we go. <laughs> See, looking takes up turns. So now you're like in this area. Now I don't have a time limit anymore. You're in this weird area where it's like you can see all the backstage stuff for the for the game, essentially. It's probably where they got the idea to do this in, in like Leisure Shoot Larry 3. But like, basically all the scenery that you see and all stuff like that, there's boxes full of it, a bunch of stalactites here, there's some plants, you know, whatnot. There's some of the signs. Basically it's like all the stuff that was in the game. There's some dwarves that are sleeping, which you can wake them up uh, if you're stupid, because they kill you. Um, there's uh, I found, there's a rock somewhere here that I found. I don't know what it's for. There must be an Easter egg. I see there's a rock, but I don't I don't know what to do with it. I wonder if you can throw it at the dwarves. Let me try that. Actually, I never. Probably an interesting idea. There's another one of those clams. <laughs> okay, I almost woke up. I better save it before I die. Uh... The dwarves are asleep. You best not wake them. Let's see, that's if I do wake them. One of them got you. Yeah. <laughs> this time he doesn't even... He doesn't try to wait like he resurrect you. You're just done at that point. Mm. 
What do I get through a rock at them? Small rock. That seems to be a foolhardy idea. That's that that, that, that seems to be a foolhardy idea. Yeah, I guess you can't do this. I don't know what the rock is for. It's some kind of Easter egg, probably. If anybody figures it out, let me know. Here's like a bunch of snakes. Can I throw the snakes? Nope, can't even interact with them at all. More a bunch of rugs and mats and I don't know what that is. I'm not sure I want to know. Treasure vault. You can see like diamonds and stuff under there, it looks like. Key and office. And there's one of these rusty stars too. So if you look at this, you get examined for the first time in the game. I never had examined before. It was in the actual original text adventure. It just said you didn't, you didn't show it as a rod with a star. It just said there's a black rod here, and they made it a black rod with a star. And then when you press examine, the star fell off. You notice a little wick. So now I have like black a stick of dynamite. Rusty marks on the end. Um, and you apparently don't need like a match or anything to light it. You just light it with your. I don't know what. I don't want to know what. Save. Black rod with rusty marks on the end. Hello, the main office is over here. What if I could throw the rock at her? That's Roberta Williams' voice, by the way, in case anybody didn't recognize it. Small rock. The, the, it looks like the dwarves got buried under the rubble. That won't work here. Come on, I want to kill her. There's no use for that here. Come here. Nothing happens. What if you say, like, "Come here"? If, when you go there, the game ends, and you can't really do anything else at this point. You're at the northeast. There's no use for that. Come here. I want to come here. I want to kill her. Nothing happens. But I don't, I don't think you can. So, I, I, there's something to do with this rock, obviously, but I don't know what it is. Over here! Where? Welcome! Come on in! No, you can't use your inventory anymore. Just look around. I don't know why they're using Monty Python music here, by the way. Congratulations for finding your way here. Your adventure tour has completed. Please, see your score. Yay. All of the Adventuredom gives tribute to you, Adventure Grandmaster. That's me. How'd you know that I was an Adventure Grandmaster? Over there is the exit. And they they try to push you to the exit. You can't like stay. You're like, no, I want to stay. I'm not ready to leave. Let me stay. No, no, no. I want to go back to my Winnebago. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Again, I don't know how they're able to use Monty Python music. It feels like it's like almost placeholder music that they didn't take out, but I I don't know about that. So. There must be some kind of Easter egg that we didn't find, that I didn't find. I don't know what to do with that rock. Um, but, so anyway, bottom line is, I enjoyed the game. I think it's a good game. It's actually, it's very hard. It helps me a lot to have played the original and to know a lot of the tricks. But I was able to beat it and get the full 350 points, as you saw. Three of ten, that's the bottom line. Oh, it's not original to Monty Python? I didn't know that. I, th I thought it was. Like, I thought it was straight up Monty Python music. I didn't know that, Pal Puck. So thank you for telling me that. I had no idea. Um, you think it's only three? Is that what you guys think also? The game sucks, basically? I don't think it sucks. I think it's a. I think it's not perfect. I think it's a lot of... Okay. The original game had a bunch of flaws. And I think they didn't... Some of the things they could have translated better into this new version. 
First of all, they should have made it very clear about the instructions affecting the lamp time, which they didn't do. They forgot that completely, it looks like. That's number one. Number two, they should the, the random events seems like they need to be changed a little bit, like especially the random magic words. Because like I said, in the original game, you can use the magic word if you don't hear it. So this the fact that you have to hear it to edit your inventory and that it's random and it wastes time, that is not so fair. Also, the fact that every time you look at something, you lose t time off your lamp, that's also not fair. But, you know, again, the, the, the mode without the instructions is, I think, meant to be, like, really for a speed run where you, where you figured everything out already. Because there's no way to figure this out in that number of turns. Not really your jam. Which is better ways to sleep, this or um, Silver Case or 428 Shibuya Scramble? Or, um... What's it called? Uh, Lightspan Adventures. Anyway, um, that's that's the game. I'm 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 planning to do a review video of this, but I don't know. You guys are like sort of like disincentivizing me. You're like everyone's like ah, the socks or whatever. You know, there's no kiosk. I feel bad honestly because you know I want. I I think Ken and Roberta like you know are, are really you know they're really great game developers obviously. And I want this game to do well. And also, you know, Marcus Mera is a friend of mine, and I and I, he's one of the producers, and I want this game to do well. I'm not going to give it a positive review, obviously, just because I like the people. But I, I did enjoy it, and I think a lot of the, the criticism is, is too harsh. There is a little bit of polish they could put on it that would make it better. So the, the, basically the three things I just mentioned, I think, need to be changed. But I maybe mean, they want to make a casual mode or something where the lamp never runs out. You know, like a LucasArts mode where you can't die or something like that. But, you know, this is, that's not, you know, that wasn't Roberta's vision for the game, I guess, at the end of the day. So, Always Sleep says, some of the mechanics would frustrate me, taking too much of the original, I guess, the appeal for most people, I don't know. It's more of a game than all those who probably wins. <laughs> no, I, I, that's the thing. Like, I feel like they did take a little bit too much from the original, but even, they made it even harder than the original because of a couple of unfair things. Like, also the original, it's, you can you could do shortcuts in navigation. Like, if you're anywhere above ground and you type building, you go to the building. Or if you're almost anywhere in the cave and you type bed quilt, you go to the bed quilt room. Because it's like, that was a, that was sort of a landmark, so they figure you don't have to like figure out how to get there. Everybody knows how to get there. So they take out shortcuts like that. They also make it harder to complete the game in the, in the right amount of time. Now, obviously, I did it. It's possible. But I, I had to really use an optimized, you know, way and, and, like, not map the maze and just, you know, walk straight through the maze for example. So I think it could be tweaked a little bit and become better. If I was rating this out of 10 right now, I would probably give it around a 7 out of 10 because I really did enjoy it. And I think the art is great. And I think the, the narration is great. I think, you know, the puzzles are classic, but I do think it has a couple of flaws. And obviously there's some crashing that I experienced also. There's a couple of flaws that, you know, I feel like if they fix those, it could easily be like a 9 out of 10, um, or at least an 8 for sure. So, anyway, that's that's a full point um, playthrough of the game. Uh, Adventure Game Hotspot did one of these recently, and um, I, I I think I tried to give a little more color here in this video in terms of what I'm at, what's going on and, you know, how the puzzle mechanics work and stuff like that. So hopefully that was helpful to anybody that watches this or useful, sort of a, a detailed breakdown of the game from someone who's played it, like I said, from the original version, you know, over 40 years ago, which is pretty freaking scary. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for being here and um, we'll do this again soon with some other something else. Always some, we still maybe should have more in-depth review video. I think I'm going to do it um, because I get more, more views with those than I do with the live streams anyway. And I have a bunch of footage from the actual Colossal Cave that I want to put in, in the video. Um, and obviously I'll use the footage from the stream. I, I, I tried to record it just straight up footage and I want to get better, higher resolution, but I was having bad luck. Luckily today I had no crashes and everything's been good. So hopefully, maybe I solved the problem. That'll be nice. Maybe I won't crash ever again. So anyway, guys, thank you so much to uh, all the people who were here today. Um, including, of course, Pirate Gear Boy, who was here in the beginning. I don't know if he fell asleep or why, if he's still here. Always Asleep, Pow Puck, Evil Miera, Matt, Lutfi, Jim, Be Ready, Lester, 
and Hero 3, and the Gamer's Grotto, who, you know, he, he does, I'm not sure how much credit he gets for leaving early, but uh, I'm just kidding. He has something to do. Pirate Game Boy is still here. So thanks, everybody, for watching After the Fact. Make sure you hit the, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe and have the notifications turned on if you want to see more stuff like this. And please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll do this again soon. Oh, Weird Gaming Adventure. Hey, I was just talking about you. Did you hear me talking about you? I literally was just talking about you. <laughs> Actually, I was talking about you, but I called you Adventure Game Hotspot for just, I just realized for some reason. Because <laughs> I'm thinking of his website, Adventure Game Hotspot. But uh, Weird Gaming Adventure is the name of the channel where he did a, also a 350 point walkthrough, a more optimized one. Like I said, I think I tried to give a little more color on, on some of the puzzles, um, how the game mechanics work, but definitely check out Weird Gaming Adventures channel. Matt is still here. Thank you, Matt. If you're not subscribed, you'd pre I would appreciate a sub, but I'm glad to have you here. And uh, yeah, I've been streaming already for like two hours, uh, Joshua. I don't know like why you just got notified now, but uh, yeah, I just, as you see, I'm quite done. There's a, th by the way, there's an Easter egg apparently because there's a rock in the last, you know, second to last screen that I don't know what to do with. I assume it's for an Easter egg. You didn't figure out what that's for, did you? I asked Marcus, but he didn't tell me. He just ignored my question completely. I'm pretty sure he read it. But I tried to throw the rock at Roberta Williams' character before, but you can't do that. I tried to throw the rock at the Sleeping Dwarves. I tried to throw the rock at the guy who gives you your score. But you can't do any of those things. <laughs> there must be something to do with the rock. So if anybody figures that out, let me know. But yeah, I am wrapping it up. Thanks again, everybody. Thanks to, to Weird Gaming Adventure who joined at the end. The dwarves get killed? I tried it. It didn't work for me. It said it said something like, that would be... Let me try it again right now. I, it said something like, that would be really reckless, and it didn't let me do it. Uh, here... Oh, the dwarves get killed. The dwarves get killed with the rock stuff when the when the when the explosion happens. If that's what you mean. But like, I have this rock. Small rock. Small rock. Oh, now it lets me before. Oh wait, no, it let me before too. But it gave me an error message. That seems to be a foolhardy idea. That seems. That 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 that. that, 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 that. I mean, like, seems to the same thing with the dragon, it says it's it's a bad idea, but I click on it 500 that times and it doesn't do anything. There's no use for that here. That seems to be a... That, 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 that seems to be a fool. <laughs> you never saw what? Well, like I said, there's a rock, but I can't do anything with it, so... That is useless right now. The thing above me? Yeah, it's, I, I thought of that, too. You never saw the rock? Yeah, I have. It's, it's here, but I don't know... I don't know what to do with it. Like it's some. I th I try to pry open the clamshell with it. I, I I don't know what to do. It's some kind of Easter egg, apparently. And Stephen Alexander helped make this game, but he's he also puts likes to put Easter eggs in his game. So somebody put an Easter egg in here. I'm pretty sure. I just don't know what it is. And like I said, I tried to throw it at <laughs> at uh, you know Roberta. That, that, <laughs> that, seems work. To be, that seems to be a foolhardy idea. And once they wake up, they kill you right away. It's not like you can throw it at them after they wake up. I don't that think. seems to be a foolhardy idea. When you wait, if you wake them, they just they just kill you. I think. Small rock. Yeah, I don't have any, any opportunity to do anything at this point. Small rock. It's just a cutscene. One of them got you. So <laughs> you made us stay out longer. All right. Well, I'm hanging up now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a good night, and we'll do this again soon. Peace out, everybody.